Okay, today I'm going to show you how to export the podcast into iTunes and how to take that into Podbean. So follow along because these are the exact steps. I've already made my edits. The layers are my backtracks. I've already moved this in position. So the next thing that I normally do is I click on the layer that I'm working on, which is number 45. Double click, highlight the area, and copy, which is Command C or Control C. Then I'm going to, because I want the exact title, I'm going to take this, select the layers, go under the Share menu, Song to iTunes. Now, this is where I've already had this stuff pre-set up. A couple of important things. The first thing is the title which is why I do copy-paste as much as I can copy-paste. Put your cursor in, do a select all, hit paste, and I'm just going to take out the ORG, which stands for original. This is how I organize my original content from my exported content. Uh, I do the same thing in my photo restoration business. The other thing that's very important is right here. Remember, I've selected the specific tracks that I'm looking to export. But if I forget to turn on export cycle area only, whatever is extra in the length over here, it will add to that, which in this case, this file is like six minutes and some change. So we don't want that. We only want exactly what we have selected and the end is right here. So it's like just under six minutes long. Okay, with that done, Again, I've already gone into iTunes and set up a whole host of things. This is automatically propagated. This is my ongoing podcast, podcast for one of my clients. Uh, hit the share button, and it will do this thing called bouncing, and then it will convert it over to an AAC file automatically. I don't have to do anything. And the only thing I now need to do is I'm going to launch. Actually, I don't need to do it. It does it itself. Here's the playlist that it put it in. Now I'm going to hit pause because it's automatically playing this file. But the next thing for me, normally I would sit here and listen to it again. Um, the normal routine for me now would be to scroll to the bottom of my list. You'll notice they're sort of kind of in order. Um, hit the three chicklets. Pull up the contextual menu and go to song info. Now I'm going to do a little bit more customizing in here because one of the things that it doesn't do is automatically put me into a podcast. It puts it into music. So the first thing I do is go to options, set it to podcast. Next thing, go to the description. Again, I'm going to do a paste. Now I have other information that I want to put in here. But I'm going to come back to do that in a moment. Because remember, this copy-paste came out of GarageBand. It didn't actually come out of the episodes that I have gone before. So I have specific content that I'm going to copy-paste from the ones before into this. But in, I'm going to do this part first because I'm already here. So go to the artwork. Choose the artwork, which I've created a logo for his podcast. Um, make sure I grab the right one. Here's his podcast logo. And then the details. And the details would be... In this case, I am scheduling it for a release date of the 15th, so you're going to hit this. And one of the things you'll find is that when you go to do a release date, if you don't see this little plus, uh, the X in a gray circle pop up, then it's whatever the date was in here. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but um, you're just looking for this little X. I'm um, going to set the genre to self-help because that's the category that we're using, and I'm going to... Uh, set the rating uh, to be the best, and then this is for me. Uh, this is internal in the iTunes scenario. However, I believe uh, some of this information gets exported out as data associated with the file. So the other thing is going to do pop, put the same title in the comments, and that's all I'm going to do for this one. You're going to notice that at the bottom there's all these hearts. Now the next thing I'm going to do is say file convert this to mp3 version because Podbean requires an mp3 version and when you do that once it's done you'll hear a little ding 
which you probably can't hear because I don't have uh, that put on. But basically what that does is it now converts it to an MP3 file, puts it in the music category. So if you click on the music from the menu in iTunes and you go to recently added, here's the recently added, and this is today's uh, list. Ignore the other stuff that's in there. Uh, routine. And I'm going to, again, go to song info. Because the same thing has to happen. It's not a music. It's a podcast. So it's got to be converted to podcast. Here's the description. I'm going to add the words MP3 into the title. I can do a copy paste at that point, And I'm going to change the MP3 to the MP3 artwork. So I have two pieces of artwork. One that's for the regular. One that's for the MP3. Back here to the beginning. And the difference for me is I'll take the heart off. This is just my visual cue inside my iTunes that I'm looking at the MP3 versus the non-MP3 version. And I'm going to add that into... Now, in a moment, if I had gone into the other one and added that additional content that I wanted here, when I create the MP3 and convert it over to Podbean, uh, sorry, to Podcast, it would have automatically filled in anything that I wrote here. The one thing that I've learned is that even though it gives you a big space, there is not a lot of text that you can put here. Um, so I'm going to show you what that looks like. I'm going to say, okay. <clears throat> then we go back to the podcast because I just moved it out of the music industry. <laughs> sorry, the music category. Um, back to this one for a moment. I'm going to pick the one from before so I can get that additional content under the description. And, you know, as much as I'd like to say there's an easier way to do this, I haven't found one yet. So I'm just, I do a lot of copy-pasting. Okay, so right here, if I had done that right now, when I go over to the MP3 version, that information would have automatically propagated. But because it didn't, I did it out of order. Um, I'm going to add it back in here. Okay, so with that done... The last thing is, all these little chiclets, this is your contextual menu, right? So I need to add this into the right playlist, which is the MP3, because I have two lists. But this one is the one that I use that exports to Podbean. Down here at the bottom is the MP3 that I need, and I'm going to show it in my finder, because I can do only so much from the iTunes. So here's today's the 45. Now I'm going to go into Podbean, which is, I'm using Google Chrome. I've already got it up here um, in my client's podcast. Uh, here's his list. Okay, so I'm going to do exactly what it does. Choose a file to upload. And you'll notice the MP3s, right? So, folks, this, it, I've, this is how I do things. This is just me. Um, doesn't make it right, doesn't make it the only way, but this is how I do it. And you'll notice that I had been using the word episode, but I updated my GarageBand file today and I forgot to use the word episode. No big deal. I can go back here and change that at any time. Um, so anyway, I need the MP3 file. It's highlighted. I'm going to say open. I'm going to see it propagate into Podbean. Now, there's a few other things I need to do now. Remember, the last copy-paste only had certain information. It didn't actually have the file name. So I had to run back to iTunes, call that file up again, use little chiclets, do podcast info, go over here, and I'm only going to grab the title. I could say cancel, or I could say okay, doesn't matter, I didn't do anything to it, so saying okay is fine. Uh, but in this case, so now I need to write in the word episode, just be making things consistent to how I've done them in the past for the, the, the client. I take out the mp3, select all, copy, paste. I do copy paste everywhere. Now, I don't have any description about this, but from my prior podcasts, all I have to do is call up one. And the way to do that is if you hold down your right, uh, your control, either right click or control and click, you get the opportunity to open the publish dashboard in a new in a new tab or in a new window and you'll notice that I had already have that here 
and I can click on one of the older versions and it will open it up in its own new tab, which I already have that here. So for me, what's important in this episode series is I need a very short description. And because there is a body here, and this is SEO information, okay? So hashtags, keywords, key phrases. What do you want people to know about your client or your podcast, so on and so forth? That's what you can put here. So consistency in the structure of your podcast is very important. And copy paste makes it very easy to do that. So this was the last episode. This is the details for that particular episode. But you're going to notice that I have a visual cue that tells me them at the end of that description. So from everything here, now granted, episode 44, and then I have remember from the last episode. Well, in this case, we're going to go one up. So we're going to use this as a structure, but we need to change this one. Okay, I'll show you how that is in a minute. Select just by click and drag. Command C to copy or Control C to copy. Go back to what I'm publishing. Paste. And now I'm not going to make you wait while I do this, but what I have to do now is go into the iTunes file, listen to it, get the basic content. That's the important message about why someone should listen to this podcast, right? What's the episode? What's the lesson to be learned, so on and so forth. And then from that last window that we just had opened, I'm going to go back and grab the episode 44 was planning versus action. Um, and the important thing for people to remember, it could be one of two things. In this particular case, if you are in sales and selling correctly, you understand the 2080 rule is 20% planning and 80% action. If you're struggling in your sales, then listen to this podcast right now to understand how this is different than the 80-20 rule. So when I'm doing the remember from the episode, I'm actually, this is the teaching point. So while this is a pain point, this is actually the teaching point. So I'm gonna copy paste that. And if you want to reference the whole episode, you certainly can do that. So planning versus action, that's the topic. And then that's what I'm going to put in here. Okay. So paste, you'll notice uh, one of two things I could command shift paste. And that didn't matter in this case. Sometimes there's a way to paste so that it remembers the formatting that was there. It wasn't working. So that's just an inherent thing in Podbean. Planning versus action, if you're in sales and selling correctly, you understand 28. So, so that's the learning moment, right? Take out any extras. So I'm going to come back here. So I need to put dot, dot, dot. Listen now. Maybe I'll just leave that. Because one of the things about writing these, these bodies of information, if you don't put it in there as what's the topic or what's the main thing that you want people to know about this, then SEO can't use a, a someone's search phrase, right? So, but they might be able to call it up some other way, especially if you're using hashtags. Um, okay, so that's pretty much it for, for the moment. Now, I'm gonna schedule this. I don't want this to go out today. I need to schedule this. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I need to grab the MP3 podcast for this uh, list of episodes, right? This is what it looks like. You can put anything you want in here. This is my client's logo. And so now down here, I'm going to schedule publish. This particular one is scheduled for what number are we on? Number 45, the 17th. Sorry, wrong date. The 17th is the date. We put our podcast out at 9 a.m. Okay. Now, I'm not going to click this until I'm ready to go to schedule because there's one other thing. Remember I said we talked about hashtags, but you don't see any here, right? That's because Podbean does it over here on the right under the tags. 
routines versus willpower. I don't necessarily need to add anything in there at this exact moment for that particular thing. I'm going to just go down and add uh, some of the ones that have been put in here before, make sure that they're making sense. There's certainly some that we have um, added already that apply to every one of them. So give me a moment. You can see which ones I've decided to do as I'm doing them. And again, I've been working on this for a while, so I, I know what normal uh, tags to put under. Sorry, I can't, it's hard to talk and think <laughs> at the same time. So, okay, so those are the tags. Now I'll say schedule. Okay, and that's it. That post is now scheduled. So you see I have a bunch of tabs up here. And the reason is because when you click here, it opens its own tab. You can see the scheduling, right? If I wanted to do something else, I can share and embed from here. But that brings up the next episode. I don't need this. I really don't need these. I had these open to verify that I had everything correct from the, the current episode to the remember episode. So I do. And that's it. That is how you schedule a garage band exported audio track into iTunes. From iTunes, we found the original file in our playlist. We edited the podcast info. We added the description. We changed the file media kind. We added the artwork and we added the details that we wanted here, including the release date, which um, in this case, I wrote the 15th. It's actually the 17th. So I'm going to go back and fix that. Okay. We talked about it, but I didn't actually do it. I'm going to say, okay, that reminds me. And since from there, we went file, convert, MP3 version, it's grayed out, meaning it's already done. So we're going to go back over here and again, just going to update the podcast info, to make sure that we recognize that it happens on the 17th is when it gets same thing. We adjusted it for the MP3 version of the logo. We made sure the description was right and we made sure it was a podcast. Those are all this on the MP3 version is what's important for Podbean. Then we opened up, our, we had Podbean was already active and we just clicked publish new episode and went through the process of uploading the file and setting all of the settings to align with what it was that we were doing. Hit the schedule, added the tags, added the descriptions by copying and pasting from the last podcast to make sure that we are consistent on what we wanted to say here. And that is it, folks. That's the complete overview of what I just did. GarageBand to iTunes to MP3 to Podbean. That's the simple steps. Okay, hope this was helpful. Ciao for now. Oh, visit goodbrain.com if you are looking for someone to help you do your own podcast. Bye.